Hey guys, Eftoe here, and today I'm back with an all new Minecraft video. And in today's video, I'll be sharing with you every single new crafting recipe added in the 1.17 Caves and Cliffs update. This is of course only part one of the update, but we'll have to wait until 1.18 arrives to get that second half. Throughout this video, I'll not only be showing you the new crafting recipes, but also just explaining what the new blocks and items actually do, just in brief so you know what you're spending your resources on. But do keep an eye on the top right of your screen for pop-up cards, which will provide videos with more detailed explanations and information about the new blocks and items. To start off with, I will just be showing you the first crafting recipe, that of the copper block, in the crafting table, but after which I'll be showing you them all in the chests. This one's just being done in the crafting table to show you that these are all legitimate, of course. So here you can see the nine copper ingots result in one block of copper. Now copper is unlike any other block in the game, in that it actually changes its appearance over time, as it becomes more weathered and oxidized. Now all three of these recipes here can be done with copper at any state of its weathering process. When you combine four copper, you can get four cut copper. You can also get waxed copper by combining with honeycomb, and you can also get waxed cut copper. Once you have those, you can then create stairs and slabs as well. The stairs and slabs, however, do need to be cut copper, but they can also be waxed cut copper. You just can't use plain copper. As well as the various building blocks you can make with copper, you can also create a couple of funky items, such as the lightning rod and the spyglass. A lightning rod can be placed on top of your house or build to attract lightning to it to prevent it from striking elsewhere on the build. This is very helpful if you had a wooden house because there's then limited chance of your house burning down because the lightning rod will absorb that strike and thereby protect the house. The spyglass is quite a fun item as well. That's crafted with two copper ingots and one amethyst shard, which I'll be coming on to in just a moment but the spyglass can actually be used to look far away from where you actually are in incredibly good detail, actually. Very similar to the Optifine mod, if you've ever used that before. It is also worth mentioning that copper ore has been replaced with raw copper, and this is the same for other ores throughout the game as well. So when you mine it, and that's using Silk Touch, you'll now receive raw copper, which then needs to be smelted into copper ingots. So those shards I mentioned a moment ago, they are amethyst shards, which can be combined for in the crafting table to create a block of amethyst. These are found at the amethyst geode generated structures. If you combine four shards with one glass, you can also create tinted glass. Tinted glass works much like regular glass, but it severely decreases the amount of light that is allowed through. It actually makes it incredibly difficult to see through. Um, and cannot be made into panes. It only works as a block. Another decorative item, candles, have also been added to the game. These can be piled in multiple different quantities, one, two, three, or four, but they all need to be the same color. You can create candles using honeycomb and string. It doesn't matter where these are in the crafting table. As long as they are in there together, they will create the candle. The candle can then be dyed to the color of your choice. It can also be placed upon cake, but as soon as the cake is eaten, the candle will pop off the top. You may have noticed throughout the video so far that these are not item frames. They are glowing item frames. This is a new variety of item frames that have been added to the game and require a glow ink sack. Of course, the item frame recipe has been in the game for a long time now, but I thought I'd remind you just in case anybody has forgotten. Lush caves are a great addition to the game. As you can see, they're very nice and decorative, really nice to look at and uh, just explore, really. Now, there aren't many recipes related to the Lush Caves, but there is one. You can create moss carpet by combining two moss blocks on the crafting table. They do have to be towards the bottom, or at least side by side, as long as they're in there together. Here we also have another cave-related item. If you combine four pointed dripstone you can create a dripstone block. Not quite as pretty to look at as some of the others throughout this video so far, 
but could be used or incorporated somehow into some kind of underground build, if that's what you're going for in this latest update. Now there are a lot of crafting recipes here for cobbled deep slate. Now cobbled deep slate is the new cobblestone, as it were. If you mine below a certain Y on the new update, if you're really deep underground, instead of finding stone as you typically would, you'll instead find deep slate. You may have noticed actually that there are deep slate ores as well in the game now. Now when you mine deep slate, you now get deep slate cobble, and this works exactly the same as regular cobblestone, but just looks differently. And as a result, you can then create stairs, you can create cobbled deep slate walls, slabs, and if you combine four cobbled deep slate, you'll get polished deep slate. Using that polished deep slate, you can then create stairs, slabs, and walls. And again, if you combine four, you guessed it, you've got deep slate bricks. Using those deep slate bricks, you can again make the same variety of building blocks and can also create deep slate tiles by combining four together. And those deep slate tiles can then be made into slabs, stairs, and walls, but cannot be made into anything else beyond that. Using the deep slate cobble, you can also use it as a substitute for cobble. So you can make stone tools, furnaces, brewing stands, and even weapons as well, like a stone sword. Before we finish off, we do have two recipes that are uncraftable. Well, I should say two items that are uncraftable, one of which actually has a recipe, one of which does not, and this needs some explaining. Bundles were initially added into the update quite early on in one of the earlier snapshots, but they have since been postponed until update 1.18. This was the recipe that they were using when they were craftable, but it is now no longer possible. And currently, at least in the 1.17 full release, you can only get bundles using commands. However, when 1.18 releases, it is more than likely they will be reintroduced and will most likely use this recipe. But for now, it will not work. So don't try it. Powdered snow can also not be crafted and has to be collected using a cauldron and a bucket. Cauldrons can now also hold, as well as snow, lava too. I hope you found this video helpful and have learned a thing or two about the 1.17 update. If you have, then please do consider subscribing for more Minecraft 1.17 videos like this one. And thanks for watching.